Okay, it's like this. I made a video in response to a video called Atheists Are So Annoying, put together by After Hours Channel. And my video was, you know, kind of a knee-jerk reaction. Lots of sarcasm. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of sarcasm. So then he put together a video about how I embarrassed myself. I haven't seen his video, so I don't know what happened to it, but I came up with this video, which <laughs> was my response to him telling me that I embar embarrassed myself. morning. And the first thing I had to find out, this terrible, terrible thing, I had to find out that I embarrassed myself last night trying to keep up with uh, the amazing intellect of, uh, what's his face, um, after hours channel guy. Okay, I, I, wow, you know, and the fact that I say I, I kind of laugh at his first first thing that he's the atheist people thing, you know, you atheist people, and then he's like, oh, listen to her first sentence. She says, it's like whatever. <laughs> to me, like it's like saying, oh, you know, all you people who like chocolate people, or all you doubters that Bigfoot exists people, or all you people who are afraid of heights people, I mean, um, or just you people are just so rude. Anyway, the caliber of, uh, um, the mentality, I should say, of the replies, that, or rather the comments that I found on my, on my video, videos this morning, too, it's like, wow, you know, the... Christ is just really shining through these people, and really the, the... I just have to point out that I just did it myself when I said, these people. <laughs> so the whole spirit, the whole meaning of Christianity, and, you know, I am just so humbled by the, um, wow, the love, the, 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 the acceptance that I'm getting from the, uh, not acceptance so much as understanding, and, and that I'm getting from these these good Christian people who've written. Now see, Christian people I think makes sense because Christians are an organization. Christianity is an organization. So I think in that respect it's not really, um, I wasn't really doing what I'm what was bothering me um, in the other video. But anyway. Me who apparently were told by this guy uh, up after hours, whatever, to come and listen to my video because I just so embarrass myself like that's a huge concern by anybody who wants to see me embarrass myself further just go down my list of videos because there's a hell of a lot of embarrassment going on I do that on a real regular basis constantly embarrassing myself in fact as a matter of fact I have an addiction for embarrassment it's like a drug to me I I need to be embarrassed as much as possible on a daily basis so that's what I do is I I, I, I put videos up to thoroughly embarrass me myself oh, it feels so good oh my gosh I am so embarrassed I just I'm ah oh, thank you so much for 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 helping me with that you know um, so anyway I just I don't quite understand you know the guy writes or puts a video up that he wants to have answers like he generally wants to have answers from atheists about these things that he finds so so annoying he wants to know why okay why are you atheists so annoying so I thought I answered quite well um yes I have to admit I got a little sarcastic um a little more than a little sarcastic I mean I was I was way over the top beyond 
beyond even my worst for me sarcastic. I tend to get that way. In fact, it's really hard for me to not try to embarrass myself as much as possible in what I in the videos. You know, it's just part of what I do. You know, it's like I could just make an, a nice normal video, but it's so much more embarrassing to myself to try to you know, embarrass myself as much as possible. So I do try to do that. And yeah, I guess I did embarrass myself pretty badly when I when I pointed out the um, what I thought were answers to his questions. And, and I guess the whole the funniest part is the atheist people think. That, I guess that's that was. I uh, see. I just thought that was funny that he would that he would phrase it that way. You atheist people. Yes, we are atheists, and we do call ourselves atheists, but atheist people. <laughs> Somebody wrote me and said some. It's kind of like calling um, uh, Puerto Ricans and Mexicans and um, Filipinos and anybody of uh, you know, lumping all those people together and calling them Spanish people. <laughs> you bell-bottom pants people. <sighs> you know, you dog people. You people who have dogs. You you cat people. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, I didn't watch his video. He did. He did reply. That's that's the video that says that I embarrassed myself. I didn't watch it just because. After reading the replies that I got on um, um, from his from his Christian, his loving Christ-like friends, I just felt like you know. I don't think I need to open myself up to that because while I don't particularly mind embarrassing myself publicly, I don't particularly like having my feelings hurt. And I just have a feeling that that's, that would probably happen because I don't, I don't think I deserve it just because I'm not the one who asked for, for people's input. I'm not the one who asked to have answers. You know, the guy asked people to respond, so I did. In my charming, most embarrassing way, and it was incredibly embarrassing. You know, I'm I'm so embarrassed. In fact, that um, I'll probably be on this embarrassment high all day long. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get to work. So thanks. Anyway, so uh, okay, I think I just photo <laughs> filmed a close up of my hand. Hi. I thought I'd embarrass myself even more. No, I actually am going to delete the embarrassing video. Not, not, well, actually, hi! Okay, we're trying to set this up. Yes, you can tell that I have a really, really, I have serious high-tech equipment. Okay. Well, it could come flying off there any second. All right. Um, I'm deleting the video that I, that I made where I was so, car so sarcastic because I don't like it. You know, um, he's right. I did embarrass myself, um, but not in a way that he meant. I embarrassed myself because I was so sarcastic. And um, <laughs> even I thought it was kind of... Anyway, um, what was... I'm trying to remember what his questions were because I'd like to answer them in a less sarcastic way, if I can. I know that he um, was on, wondering why atheists ate eight years ago weren't so outspoken as they are what as they have been in the last two years he was wondering why um, we feel the need to be so outspoken well I can't speak for atheists very well because 90 percent of my life has been I was a I've, I'm was a born-again Christian so my duration of having to endure is quite a bit shorter than somebody who's been, say, an atheist their whole life. I've only had to endure being on the receiving end of Christianity for three years. Before that, I was completely oblivious to it because I was one of them, you know, and I didn't really give it much thought at all. Um, well, I was never uh, somebody who went around and tried to shove my beliefs down other people's throats. I was in agreement. I was in agreement with what Christians said. Oh well, if you don't believe what we believe, you're going to burn forever in hell. And it's our duty to try our best to keep you from that because we care about you and we don't think anybody should have to burn in hell. So we're going to try our best to get you to see um, the error of your ways and see see the the beauty and the whatever of this wonderful message that was that was I agreed with all that 
and so it didn't really bother me. It didn't stand out in my in my perceptions of the world as being a bad thing. It's so funny when you when you stop. It, it's the whole phrase having God glasses on is really very true. The moment you realize there's no such thing as God, the moment you realize where the religion came from and how how it came about, what what created it, what caused it, and you realize it's all just contrived by human beings with an agenda, and you start seeing it differently, then you start, you know, the whole perception of it being the truth completely unravels. And suddenly it's it's in your face all the time. And it's like, imagine if somebody's telling you a lie all the time and you know it's a lie, and it's and you know even more so than that, you know how much damage that lie has caused. You see, you look around, you see what, what damage that lie has caused. And you see other people that you care about that are under the spell that you were under for so long. And it really, really gets under your skin. I don't know how somebody who's been an atheist their whole life, I've only had to deal three years and I'm like, oh my God. So he's wondering about why atheists are more outspoken now than they were eight years ago. I think it's because there's a lot more Christians like myself. I think Christians like myself um, who are, are new, newly deconverted to become atheists, or are just simply stopped believing, have less tolerance than somebody who's been an atheist their whole life. I think a deconverted Christian is um, le is less tolerant, um, can endure less gets upset about it because they maybe because deep down inside they know that they they were once that way and they 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 once came across that way you know and I don't know I get angry about the fact that it's a lie that's allowed to be spread and it's encouraged you're encouraged to believe in it and people who aren't are villainized if that's how you say that word I think there's a lot more atheists like me than there were eight years ago. I think there's a lot more deconverted Christians now than there were eight years ago. I think that those of us who tried to be the quiet, endure, the religious, whatever, you know, quietly, that kind of an atheist, we weren't able to do it for as long because it's like nails on a chalkboard more to us. It bothers us more because we're, we're seeing it now from the other side of the fence and we remember what it was like to be that. And maybe it's partially to do with anger t toward ourselves for being so blind for so long, you know? Or maybe anger at the fact that we could be, that we, it took us so long to wake up. You know, I spent most of my life under this delusion. And when I think of the damage it's caused me, it's upsetting to me. It's upsetting. So I guess when, when you start talking about the whole subject, just just right from the get-go, I'm upset just, just thinking about it. So maybe that is why I'm more easily brought to the point where I'm angry and strident is the word too. Um, so outspoken. We just want the lie to be, we want the lie to be recognized for what it is. People walk around and proclaim it the truth and then they have absolutely nothing to show that, to show why their truth is any more true than anybody else's truth. You know, so I guess that's my best answer. And I also think that the, um, the whole what I what I did with my very sarcastic voice about the bully on the playground, I do think that um, there's a lot of that to it. Uh, people, I think there's a lot of atheists who just got tired. When you see stories like uh, Jessica Almquist or the girl who got kicked off the basketball team because 
she was honest and didn't pray because she wasn't, she didn't believe in that. When you see stuff like that happening, and you see religion, religious people, I mean, when it's actually hurting other people's lives just because they don't want to conform and they're willing to stand up for themselves, it makes me, it makes people angry. It makes people angry that people's religion, you know, can actually take away the rights of other people and cause whole groups of people like gay people to be treated differently and looked down upon and singled out and denied their the same rights that everybody else has because they aren't the same. They're different in, in some ancient book that, you know, that we have absolutely they, they, oh, it was inspired by God. Okay, and, and there's no proof of that. Any more than I could say that Harry Potter was just inspired by God. And yet, because of this book, a whole group of people are, are ostracized and denied their rights and look, you know, looked down on. So, I think religion is a bad thing and it makes me angry. And I think a lot of people have just had enough of the privileged. Christians, in, especially in America where they're the majority, getting to have their way. Um, it's on our money. It's in our pledge. They're trying to put it out like our founding fathers were Christian and that this country was supposed to be, this country was founded as a Christian nation when it wasn't. And, you know, to change our actual history and to change what our forefathers stood for, it's not. It's not right. It's just not right. And and to and to, and to misrepresent science because we're trying to perpetuate a lie that actually causes us to um, it thwarts our progress as as a society. It's just not right. So I just think that there's more atheists now. I think there's a lot more former Christians who are atheists now, who have less tolerance than people who've been atheists their whole lives. And I think atheists in general are just tired of being bullied. Christians have their radio stations, they have TV channels, they have programs on TV, they have billboards everywhere. You put an atheist billboard up in a town and there's, there's there's rioting in the streets. Everybody's, oh, so offended. We have to take that down because it's just so offensive. But yet, there's Christian billboards everywhere. And all the Jewish people and Muslims and atheists and Wiccans and everybody else who isn't Christian, we're just supposed to tolerate that even though it's offensive to us. So I just think that, you know, it's very... Um, um, What's the word? <laughs> um, anyway, I can't think of it. Um, what I'm trying to say. I just think that, that either, either if Christians want to have their billboards, atheists should have their billboards. If Christians want to have their radio stations, atheists should have their radio stations. If Christians want to go on and on YouTube and tell atheists how they're so corrupt and lost and 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 uh, we're going to hell, etc., etc., etc. Atheists should be able to get on YouTube and argue back. And, you know, pull out the big guns, namely the Bible, as proof that the Bible is repulsive and um, abhorrent, <laughs> offensive. I mean, Christians really should read their entire Bible and read it like with an open mind and without preconceived ideas. You know, that's what I did. I just read the Bible one day and I tried to imagine like I was reading it for the first time. And without an without my God glasses on it. I don't I don't know how I managed to go so many years thinking that the Bible was a good thing and that God was a loving God. And that Jesus was a good example of um, 
a good a good compass for morality. I don't know how I could go for so long in my life with with that with those ideas. And all I can think is it's because I never actually really read the Bible and really thought about what I was reading or what it meant, you know. Imagine a guy sitting in a boat while people all around him are drowning, slowly dying, and he's not opening the door. He's not offering help. He's just sitting in his boat letting all these people die. I mean, if you look at any story in the Bible that you, you grow up thinking is a good, warm and fuzzy story, and you look at the story, like, really look at the story and imagine it in your head, what was going on, suddenly it doesn't seem so warm and fuzzy anymore, and it seems actually very repulsive. So anyway, this is my attempt to... Um, I'm sorry that, that, that this After Hours channel guy thinks that atheists are annoying, but um, I think we're just fed up. I think we're fed up with being judged. I think we're fed up with being called the atheist, like we're some kind of lower life form. I think we're tired of having somebody say, oh, well, there's different categories of atheists. Um, no, there's just simply people who can tolerate more than others. And some of us can't tolerate as much as others. That's really what it is. So anyway, I'm trying to, to respond in a more intelligent manner to his video. And I hope I managed it without all that sarcasm. So thanks for listening. Bye.